do believe that this is a gang related incident. Now at 5, police continue their investigation into a shooting that has left a local 3-year-old in the hospital. Good evening. That little girl is in critical condition after a shooting last night. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has been digging deeper to uncover the latest. She joins us live from Gaywood where it all happened. Megan, what's the latest? Mark, we now know the names of the two victims as well as a possible motive for the shooting that happened last night. As you can see, this neighborhood is very quiet today and not a lot of people stirring around. Now a three-year-old girl's in the hospital fighting for her life. It's a shooting that didn't catch some neighbors off guard. That's about what I'd expect to happen. Not a drive-by. It was going to happen someday. When you're shooting up people like Q-Jack was, but it's not good. 18-year-old Quante Jackson, also known as Q-Jack, and 3-year-old Kenavia Williams, victims of the shooting on Gatewood Drive. The toddlers in the hospital in critical condition. After talking with witnesses, police say the shooting was gang-related. We have a person who walked up to a small crowd and just fired. He fired with no regard whatsoever. Now we've got a 3-year-old, a small child, is fighting for her life, and she has no idea what a gang even is. A neighbor that I spoke with says that the man was wearing a mask and then approached this yard and started shooting at the people in it. I don't think they busted him, and I don't think they will. Neighbors believe a gang war is underway now that Q Jack was shot at. Apparently, this neighbor says he has friends who will fight back. It's not even a question. It's going to be busting back. Everybody's going to be shooting. And it's right here. This is like a block away from me. That's not good. Now, police have not made any arrests. Foster tells me that they do have several groups here in Fort Wayne that fight back against the gangs in our area. If you have any information about this crime, you're encouraged to call police or Crime Stoppers. For now, reporting live on Gaywood Drive, Megan Royce, News Channel 15.